Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to be finishing off our scrapbooking mem memory uh, me bleh, bleh, mini album. Sorry. So um, it is going to be a short one, I hope. Um, we started the mini album last Friday, and obviously I had to leave very quickly because my uh, fence blew down <laughs> um, and I had to call um, Dave up to let him know. Uh, the fence is okay now. Um, anyway, the end of our memory, uh, mem <laughs> yeah, mini album for memory. There we go. Mini album for memory. Um, it eight page. It holds eight pages. I have um, made th uh, fully made three pages. Hello, Beth and Dieta. Thanks for joining. Let me rearrange my camera. It keeps moving itself. A gremlin playing with it probably. Anyway, so I've already done three pages today. Let me show you the three that I have done. So here, here, um, I've made six. Well, thought I've made six, but three are done. These are the pages. Obviously, I haven't finished. So, um, the, the, all the pages have got this on. Okay. Oh, just so you know, I've used um, a lady. A YouTube video. Her name is Olivia McNamara. I've used her YouTube video to make these. Okay, just so you know. Um, if you are unsure of what I'm doing, do go over to her and have a look. Um, but basically, eight pages. She's done a dip page one. I'm doing an eight page one. Um, eight pages. and a little pocket here. The flip pocket. Uh, this. This bit here is uh, what will hold the pages in. Um, so that that one. Then there's this one. Same again. It's got. They've all got this pocket here. It will be turned into a pocket by the end of the um, video uh, when I put them in. And there's the little in die pocket there for that page. Put the. I've got them in order, you see. Uh, they did one, it's just a dimple, flipping, flip one, flip page. Um, I need to make a, I've actually got one somewhere, which I saw earlier on, while we're looking for it. So this is the one I'll be using for this page here. <clears throat> okay, so again, these three are going to be the same as those ones. I've got two more pages to make, which I thought I would um, show you how to do. You need 12 by 12 uh, sheet of um, cardstock. Um, this is quite thick cardstock. I'd say it's about, what do you reckon, 200, maybe 180. Mm, a little bit thicker than 180, but I think it's 200. Um, 200 GSM. I'm cutting them in half to six inches. Okay. Six inches there. Like that. Okay. I'll leave those to the side. You also need another piece of uh, 12 by 12. Um, and you want to cut this to seven inches. Okay. And you want to do it forgotten how big that one is. Let me just double check. There we go. And you want to do it that way. And you want to cut it to four inches though. So I just need two more. But you'll get three three lot of four. I'll have one left over for this one, which isn't a problem. I can use it for dumping out. <laughs> That that pop that bear there. Okay, that's my cutting done for now. Okay, you then need your gore board. Okay, we'll start off with the pages. 
Okay, so along the uh, longer side, you want to do, uh, what do you want to do? You want to gore it at six and a half. And then fold it. Six and a half. Now, something I realised earlier when I was looking at, at this, it does stick out of the edge of the album. So what I might do is I might cut half an inch off all my pages at the end. Um, yeah. So what I've done is because you got two that are the Dane, I'm going to do it the opposite way round. So do it dick and a half, okay, and then fold it. But this time, the flower is on the outside instead of the inside. Like, like that. Alright. So that's how I've done it. This one, this is the uh, 4 inch by 7 inch. All you need to do for this, along the long edge, is put half an inch at either end. Okay. Or at both ends, sorry. At both ends, either end at both ends. So half an inch at both ends, okay. And what you're going to do, you're going to fold it in half. I'm going to, I'm going to just burnish mine one, okay. Get your digger, cut off the corner. Everything that you um, adhere into your book should have the corner cut off or your pages died today just so there's less bulk just so there's less bulk on the pages then okay and because that one's on that side I'm going to turn it over and use this side for this one for the decker one and I quite like the different pattern that um, I've done. Can it, it go? It goes quite nicely together, if you know what I mean. Okay. There we go. So that, that, and that, 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 that done. Make sure it's the right way up. Right, so this bit here, when you do it, okay, that, this bit here is the front. You need to turn both of them over so that the back is going. I might have that one on there and that one on on there. Wait, that too big? No, that too big is on there. Might have that one on there and that one on there. Yeah, beautiful. That's nice. I like that. Got my glue. I'm using glue today. You know, I did. I did. I do think I need to use glue. My glue more before it go hard in in my bottle. Okay. So you've got your closed edge. Okay. Okay. So what we've done, we've got that front bit there. We've turned it round, your clothes dead on this died. Okay, let me move those for a moment. And you want to line up the edges, these two edges, and just pop it on. And it's got to be flush with the end, with the uh, fold, okay? It's got to be flush there with the fold. So I did use my bone folder just to flatten that and to adhere it down properly okay and there is your little pouch I thought that was a good idea that uh, Elidia did so I, 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 I've, I'll admit it I've, I have copied Elidia McNamara because I like her idea and for what I'm doing for the app with with the album after, it's gonna be perfect. She did heard for her cat. 
this one going to be for um, my other dog who passed away last June. And it's going to be like a memory book. And it's nearly her one year anniversary of death. Bless her little cotton dog. We've got a company over here. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Cherry Tree or something like that. Um, <laughs> um, and um, sorry, I just uh, laughing at what Jeff said. Chat is very quiet today. Very, very quiet. <laughs> They're probably all watching Crafted TV. They're not interested in me. Anyway, um, the, the company um, do cremation for animals, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So that's those done. Pop this on the floor. Okay. So let's get back our pages. Okay. These, these two aren't going to get anything at the moment. I might have an idea later. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Ah, I need to do this one. Mm -mm -mm. So let me do. Okay. Half inch. Half inch. Forgot about this one. Cut the corner. I feel a bit uh, coldy fluey today, so I'm not going to be on for long, which I do apologise about. To pop my glue on there. Right, which one was this for? This one. Here we go. Just pop that on there. So this, this thing here worked the, the two-in-one sort of thing. It holds your page to your mini album and it is a pouch. So it, I think it was a clever idea, very clever idea. It's not completely in line, but I don't mind. You know me, I don't do perfect. Don't do perfect. <laughs> Love it. Lovely. Lovely page. Right, that, 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 that is the one that I've just made. It's got the pa it got the pocket on the back there. Okay, so I'll put that one there. I'll put them all upside down. So this one again, pocket on the back. You've got your you've got this this one here. I'll just pop these over there. Okay. So let me show you what to do with this. Okay. This page is again six inches by twelve, and I'll cut it in half. Okay. So what you want to do, put it along the smaller edge, and on this edge, let me check it, you know, it doesn't matter if it's the right way up or not, um, half inch on this die, half inch gore line on that die, and on this die you want a one inch gore line, 
okay now with your ink gore line on the top you want to gore at four and a half okay one two three and nine okay four and a half and nine on the long e edge so one edge is one inch the the other long edge is half an inch you turn it round you then do a four and a half inch gore there and a nine inch gore there okay easy peasy put the board away for the moment okay you need your digit now so what you need to do okay we are going to let me let me turn it over it's going to be no let me do it this way we are going to have this bit as a flap but we're going to cut away all of this bit but because it's a flap we all don't need to taper it so there's less bulk okay so we're going to tape taper it here and we'll do the same on this this side to taper it there Okay, and then <coughs> we're going to cut away the uh, gore line all the way up to where you tapered. All right, all the way up. EDPD. So you got it like that. Okay, next thing you're going to do. It, you are going to cut half an inch so you got your tapered bit there and the rest of it cut off here you're going to cut half an inch off of that first box okay just roughly half an inch also taper it okay so we we'll put a taper okay and we we'll taper that bit there whilst we're at it just like that okay and then you're gonna cut you're gonna taper this one inch bit here sorry okay and taper it here as well I'll turn it over so I can do it properly and then you're gonna cut off the rest of it okay it's very easy to do this now because of the way that I've done it, I have um, got one side that blank. So I'm gonna cut. I am going to cover up the the blank side. But first, let's fold this bit here. Fold this tab here, okay? And get my glue. All right. All right, so so pop it on. Literally, let in more, guys. Remember, okay. And then you're gonna fold it over. I should have folded it first, but oh well, doesn't matter. I don't do perfect, right? Okay, and I'm going to use my bone folder just to put it down. Let all that, let all that glue go on there. Oh wow, PST, what 12 noon? That is Dick PM here, isn't it? Is that right, Dick PM? No. Oh, I can never, I can never do the time. This isn't folded right. Then it will. Me saying I don't do perfect, but it's got to be done properly. <laughs> oh, well, what you like. Okay, so. Oh, someone asked me the other day whether or not that around where I live we have rape deed. Now, I haven't been out for a very long time. Uh, like out out I mean like out of hating for quite a while it kept going to my mum's this is how I this is how I knew now 
on the way out of Hayding, going toward London, I actually saw a massive field with rape deed in. So I have to apologise. I can't remember who asked me, but um, there's a, a new farm just on the way out of town. And they have started growing rape, rape deed. I don't do purring, yeah. I, uh, one day I'll do a t-shirt with that slogan on it. I don't do perfect. And I want to do um, I'm a Crafty Crafter as well. So, there's the pocket there. I'm then going to fold this bit, which I should have done all that first, I know. But you know me. You know me. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this bit just here. Okay. Just fold that bit over. So it is, it is kind of closing it up there, okay? That's what you want because it, it, this is the easiest, easiest way that I did it. But first of all, I need to find my page. Uh, where is it? No. No. Where's my page that? I was going to use, oh, this, this one, I must be this one, here it is, Dopey me, right, so, there's my page, on this big flap here, on the white bit, on the, um, on the back of it, back of the flap, here, you're going to put the glue, okay, you're then going to turn it over, on the jaw to bit, you want to line it up with the edge, Okay, all of it, line everything up with the edge, and then just adhere it down. I haven't folded it properly again, but oh well. I'm not wasting my time now. Okay, there we go. I just burnish that bit down. Burnish it down there. Just don't get the night hold. And there is your pocket, your flappy pocket bit. A fabulous snap bit, I love that. So I'm going to put that, um, yep, yeah, I'm gonna put that here in my pile. The next one I have is, oh yeah, right. You need a piece of card. Here I've got dip by dip in dip. You want to do a one inch, um, gore line on one side, okay. Then you want to again taper it, turn it over, it's easier for me. Taper it, okay. Fold the taper, fold the, fold the flap, taper, fold the flap, okay. Put them glue on. My chicken not very well today. I think she's in a coma. I think my chicken gone into a coma, poor girl. So, you got your glue on the flap. Open it up, okay. So on the jorted side, you open it up and you just pop your flap, line it all up. Line it all up, and then I just burnish it down like this. And that is your flap. Very easy. And I use a piece of uh, damping card for that. Okay. The next bit, we're going to do an inside pocket. So, you have, I have got here a four inch by seven and a half inch piece of uh, card straight paper, whatever you want to call it. I have gored all the way around half an inch on all four dies, okay? <laughs> oh, I love that. A perfect is overrated. I love that one. I'm taking it. 
perfect you know right the next thing you want to do is just cut off the corners okay cut off the corners i do it i cut these off so i'm actually cutting off through the middle of the uh folded cross bit you know when you go down and across yeah that cross bit i'm cutting through that like dead through the middle so all four corners are equal then okay right first bit i need to do is make joy the right way up okay i'm then going to put glue on this top flap okay on the back of it all right And I quite like the idea that uh, Alicia did. Um, and she folded it over and glued it down, which gives it a, uh, a better, um, well, it makes it dirty, doesn't it? Makes it a bit more dirtier. It's a very good idea to do this. So I've kind of copied her. I'll admit, I've, I have copied her, her design. Okay, so that bit it glued down all right to the piece of paper you're then gonna fold the bit here okay i'm gonna try and fold it evenly this time <laughs> the last one i didn't fold it evenly and it glued down um glue down wonky but you know me I don't do perfect perfect is overrated okay so these flaps I'm going to glue these flaps on the on this side here because this is going to make your pouch gonna make a nice little pocket and again I will day I did copy I don't normally copy people but I copied Elidia because I really liked liked the way her mini album looked. Originally, I've done eight pages. She did dick. Um, my eighth page. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for my eighth page yet. Anyway, so open it up on the larger side. Can it the dick by dick? Um, it dick by dick now because we the way we um gorge it okay i'm going to use my bone folder again just to move it down okay leave that to dry for a bit okay and that bit is done and there's my eight pages i'm gonna put my glue away because i don't need that now Okay, pop my pin in. Right, so I've got my piece, my red tape. This is the dick mill, I think, the dick mill. Okay, I'm going to pop my page to the side. I've chosen red tape because it's very dirty, isn't it? So, um, what's going to happen? Let me show you. I am going to put red tape right at the top of my um, my uh, my page holder at the spine. Okay, on both sides. Both sides. Do it on both sides. I might regret doing it in red tape. But I thought it it would take very good for construction. So hopefully it won't be a problem to use it. So we'll test it with our first page. I just cut that bit off. Okay. So 
head those down. I need to get my pokey tool. I'm going to take off my back in. Oh, decided to glue to my, I oh, say glue, stick to my hand, static electricity. There we go. Okay, go. Let's grab our third page. First, first page. Okay, pop that to the side. Let me take, put the lid on so I don't dab myself again. So, you've got your vine, you've got your, your book. Okay, um, I might not chop off the end of the pages, it's going to dick out, I know it is, but hey ho, you know me, so, just going to pop that over, oh, it's not going in, why am I? Let me let me um have a look at this. Is it the right way around? No, it's not. Oh, hang on. Don't think it matters. Okay. So right. So I'll start. Oh, well, I do want it that way. I'm starting with this one. Okay, the first first page, page number one, and I'm just going to try. Oh, I know what I've done wrong. Uh, I just remembered it. I need to taper it. No, I don't taper it, do I? I don't taper that bit. Oh, dear. I think I might have cut this one. A little bit too small. Oh no, I didn't. Oh dear. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and taper these just to help me get it in. Just, just the cut taking the corners off, just to help me get it in. Okay, so that should work now. Per perfect, even though I don't do perfect. This bit isn't wanting to go in. Get in there. Let me cut the more off there. Taper it properly. I did the taper them before. Let's do this. I'll just taper them quickly. Sorry, guy. You do this before you put it, put it in. Nona, um, Nona's looking after her grandchildren today. She's been very busy recently. Bless her. Okay, so I'm just tapering, just so you know what I'm doing, just tapering my, my bind, my page holding bit, okay? Just so it goes in properly. I just have done this before. But while I was getting, it, getting all worried last week, I completely forgot about it.
้เช่นนั้นเราใจหน้าเกลือ you want something that really um, gonna last the long time for your page to stay there forever glue eventually start coming off where with red tape will stay there forever and ever once it once it adhered to something you guys know it's not going to come off right there we go just uh, move that over there yeah red tape red tape much better there we go tapered now it tapered it it playing playing the game it's playing the game there we go oh i love that look at that look at that i didn't quite push it all the way down but oh well i like that there we go so time again with the next page i'm gonna do i'm going to put red tape on all of them right now just so i don't have to worry about all the other pages And then all I have to do, I need to get my photo um, put onto my laptop. Because what I want to do is I want to be able to re-dive all the pictures that I've got on my phone of my, my of Dash, my old dog, um, and put them in here. So I want it finished, I'll show you guys. I'll show you what how it turned out. Because there's other bit that I'm going to be using, other pages, other bit of paper. I'm going to be using these lovely little um, frames. They're three different colours, purple, yellow and grey sort of colour. Very nice, very nice. I'm a big fan of yellow at the moment. It's basically with grey, yellow and grey and purple all go together really nicely. Big fan, like this paper here. Look, beautiful this paper. Look at that. This was from a 12 by 12 paper. Look at those birds. There were purple birds as well. Butterflies, birds, flowers. I think there's one with a with a bead on as well. I think. Absolutely gorgeous, but I don't think the company do them anymore. It's called Nature, Nature Grey by Dovecraft. Yeah, Dovecraft. Lovely. It was lovely. When I saw it, I did. I had to get it. Had to. One of those compulsory buys. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. I made, I made this. Um, you see, my, my favorite, my favorite um, uh, crafting is making books, and I'm all. I've always made my own book covers. Um, so I, I showed on Friday, um, how I made the book cover. I did it all by myself. I didn't use any dye. You don't need to use dye when really need to use dyed when doing all this stuff. I find it a bit more exciting and interesting doing it fresh, you know, no dyed and damped or anything like that. I've just used my my own brain. Obviously I had Elijah help me with the pages, but uh, the um the the cover itself is, is my own my own oh 
I find it a bit more fun as well and more interesting. It, because each time I make a, a cover, I, I think of a new thing and um, I tweak it each time I make a cover. You do. Do follow follow those instructions as well because um like for this bit here, let me show you. For this bit here of the spine, this bit of the spine and this bit, okay, I I actually cut off bit right there and there just to get rid of that bulkiness. Could with that bulkiness it would be a bit more harder to to control your your book. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, and just uh, bear with me, I'm just putting this red tape on. I've got four more flap to do. Because I, um, I, before I started doing my, my uh, YouTube channel, I actually made books. So I did all the binding, I did all the, um, you know, all the pages. So I, I actually sewed sewed the pages together with a uh, needle and thread. Could you, you you do it in signatures? So it um you get your A4 paper or your letter letter dyed paper, um, fold it in half, width way or length way, and then cut it in half. So you have got two small books then, or or more signature more page pages for signatures. I made li make little books as well. Um, you then sew them together using a special um, a special way of sewing sewing them together. It's very it's very very interesting. And then you start thinking of other other ways of you know making your, your other other ways of sewing things together, you know? Well your pages anyway. Um, and there's different ways of um, adhering your pages to your folder. So you can, like there's some people just use um, really thick twine. Um, so they'll sew all their pages together first and then they use really thick twine to um, put on the outside going to the inside and holding all the pages. It's very, very clever, very clever. It's very cool. I am going to do a um, a tutorial one day on on how you can make your own book. So, um, and it'd be nice to get some of you on to make it make them with me as well. So, uh, so you can actually do it's not hard to uh, do your own book binding. Not hard at all. Yeah, yeah, that's another way of doing it. That's a very easy way of doing it. So you've got no hassle then to uh, put your pages, when you fold your pages up, um, you put your, let me just make sure, yeah, that's all done. You put your um, pages through, yeah, that's an easy way of, of uh, doing your binding. Because it's all still the same, it's still binding. Um, so yeah. So before you put all your bits in, always make sure, I haven't, because you know me, I don't do perfect, but make sure that your pages are in the order that you want them in before you put them in the book. But I've just, I think I've done it. I'm not double checking now. Yeah, you can make cut. Yeah, you can use use card for for um, a mini album, a five by seven mini album, or just a little bit bigger. I would do it at um, five five and a half, maybe five and a quarter. Um, 
Yeah, that that uh, that an idea. Actually, um, if you have a look on Pinterest, Laura, you Pinterest. It could be on Facebook. She might put it on Pinterest as well. Laura Hernandez actually made. Let me just fold that over. Actually made a mini album out using Five by Devon cards. So, because uh, she had them to bear. Oh, this red tape. Cupboard doesn't want to come off. Yeah, yeah, you do need to use the heavy time for that sort of thing. You do. So if you if you're watching, I'm I have the this pouch on the rear side on the back. Okay, so the pouch is your back, is the back of the uh, page. Okay, so here's another one. Uh, when and this is actually the easiest bit. If you've tapered your your spine, this is the easiest bit. Just to put the pages in. There we go. Oh, we've got one person. Just watching. My guess is that is probably Janan. I miss Janan. She's such a lovely lady. We love you, Janan, if you're watching. We're thinking of you. Along with Dieta, Janan was one of the first people to um, come to my channel. Actually, I think she was the first person, very first, actually. So, this, this, is, this is fun, this uh, mini album making. As I say, they did gonna poke out the edge of the book, but at the edge of the yeah, it's the book now. Um, it, it's gonna poke out the uh, very edge of the book. Um, just because I was literally using um, the same measurement as um, the lovely Alicia. McNamara. Have a look at her channel. She's got loads of great stuff on there. She's been doing it a long time, actually. Uh, crafting on YouTube for, I think, nine years now. I think it would, I think that was her. Nine years, but she got loads of stuff on there. And um, the one that I copied, it was her using Minte um, paper. And I think it was about three or four years ago that she filmed it. Um, so do have a have a look at her YouTube channel. So there is my album, all done, with my pages in. And I mean, come on, guys, look at this. The pocket. Let me put. Let me put all this. Look at this. So front cover. Open it up, up. Pocket. All right. You got your pocket there. Can you see? Add the little pocket as well, where where it um it, it adhered to the to the bind. So it made a little pocket. Here's one, a little flat page. This one comes out like this, and then up. Little pocket there. I'm going to put some paper, some, um, some of this paper probably. Uh, I've got some scrap somewhere. I'm going to put that on it. You know, I think that will look quite nice. You know what I mean? That look lovely. The inside of that page, another pocket from where we've made that bit. Just, I wanted a couple of pages that were just blank. Do you know what I mean? So you can do some writing or um, put some photo, photo holder frames, you know, like um, 
like in the um, the ultimate organizer or uh, that crafted companion have done I'm, I might use those, those things to put bits in you know so again nice little pocket same same it's going all the way through just different paper designed they yeah, made a little little pocket there using using that same again Little pocket there again, and a blank page in the back. And I thought, look, it does look at that, it does hang out, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all, actually. I really don't mind that, I quite like it like that. Oh, her name it, it in the description below, it's Alicia A L I K I A. M K Namara Muk Namara. Okay. Um, yeah, I I really like this. Really like it. It is easy. That's the thing. It is easy. You look at you. Look, sometimes I I watch people on their videos and I go, you make it look so hard because of the way that you do it. And it's so much easier way. I think to myself that that. There must be an easier way of doing it and to make it look easy. And I I always make things and I think of how can I make it so it make it look easy to make. So even a crafter couldn't do it. Uh, could do it. Excuse me. Dog hair in my mouth. Even a crafter could do it. Uh, a non-crafter could do it. So I might get one day, I might fold him. Yeah, my full day to do a video for me, just to show that there are think there are projects out there that non crafted can do, and I think this is one of them. It's very easy to do. Um, I've obviously used it's very hard. I've used um, a very very thick and very hard uh, mount board. It's an artist board. It's mount board, it's very thick, very hard, and it's very, very good quality. I've had it for a long time, that one, as well. Um, it, the same stuff I used when I was doing my A-level in art and graphic. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy with the way the, the album turned out. And obviously, let me open this and show you. So, there, there are three different colours. Of frame, very nice, very pretty, and I thought I might put put them in this album. Look, and it goes nicely with the purple and the yellow that I'm going to put in there. You know, it will go really nicely and put in putting it on foam tape and then popping a picture underneath. You know, put put underneath it on the front there would look so nice even if it was crooked you know i don't mind it being crooked i might even do, put a couple you know just like that do you know what i mean so uh yeah that's that one um and then i've got these now i've only ever used i've never used these but for some reason they're one million it might have been a broken one because I did find one broken in my drawer. But I got these, so I might pop these on there as well. And they're little button, little, um, you know, like jerk button. Yeah, very nice, very nice. So I'm going to use those in it and outside it. I'm going to put the paper. Look at that. I mean, even though this, this is quite pastel looking. I'm going to actually put these in here as a background, you know, putting them as, as um, do you know what I mean? Matte and layer. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that did, that did, dear. So it does make it more fun. Um, I mean, I have, I actually have. A very small, it's very, very small craft job here in Hayden. And they 
don't do a lot of things, but one thing they do have is this board. And um, I've got it in white, but I couldn't find it. So I had to use an old black one, which had bits all over it. So I just took the bits off. It was something from my um, my old days of uh, being an artist. <laughs> so uh, I just ripped it off and used it because I didn't need it. And I didn't need what was on it in the first place. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Really happy. So, there we go. That is the end of the show today. Thank you for joining me, guys. Um, some, there, there are two more people that have just joined. A bit too late, I'm afraid. But um, I hope, I hope that that is a little bit easier for you. Um, yes, I've actually got some vellum. I showed you the vellum last week, didn't I? And I'm going to be using this vellum. But it's going to have, let me take that in the way, it's going to have this friendship one on it. I love this friendship one. Let me put that away. The friendship uh, snuggle. These, these I was thinking of putting on it, you know, love, holding hands, you know, keeping secret, trust. Your dog is your best friend, isn't it? Man, best friend. So, um, yeah. So, um, I'm going to use some of those inside. Uh, put her picture on them and tuck them in. And, you know, just things like that. We also, um, something very nice that that company did um, when, we, when we had her cremated. They actually did a few little bits that were for free. For instance, they got a little uh, a little Ziploc bag, um, cut some of her fur off and put her fur into the Ziploc bag. So I'm going to use that as well, put it in here. Um, they also did a little, um, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, certificate of death as well, which I thought was a nice little touch. Um, what else was there? Oh, you know what? There were loads of things there. Even to the down to the um to the urn that you put the uh, the cremation in. So um, it was lovely, very lovely. It was a lovely, lovely little David. And I mean, that was very special to both Dave and I. Very special. Um, I only knew her for just over half her life. Dave had her from when she was one year year old. So, um, yeah. Oh, bless her. So this will be a book for her. And it will be, it'll be put next to her own. So, anyway, let's call it a day. I'm a bit tired now. Um, and uh, I shall hopefully do you on Wednesday. We're going to finish off our cross-stitching, if I can find where I put it. Um because I had to move my room around to put my chicken in here. So, um, yeah, anyway, please do share, comment, like, subscribe, press that bell um, to get notifications. Um, yeah, per yeah, paw print, that'd be cool. I like that idea. Um, yeah, press that bell for notifications. And um, if you came in late today, please do rewatch the video and also rewatch last Friday's video because I i show you how I made the uh, cover and the spine. Okay, very important. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I, I've, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. So, see you on Wednesday. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.